Hello. Welcome to Planet Technologies Tips and Tricks. My name is Kate Stevenson, and today we'll be talking about Microsoft Forms. Specifically, we'll be covering branching, as well as different ways to share your form with others, depending on whether they're a user or someone you're collaborating with. Let's take a look. Here we are in Microsoft Forms. For the purpose of this lesson, I've created a simple survey. My survey starts with an entry question. Number one, do you feel confident that you understand the concepts presented in this unit? Yes, somewhat, or no? I would like for my survey to direct users to a different follow-up question depending on how they answer this entry question. For yes, I would like my user to be directed to question number two. Whereas for somewhat, I would like my user to be directed to question number three, and so on. In Microsoft Forms, they call this feature branching, and it's very easy to set up. The first thing you'll want to do is make sure that you have already added all of your questions to your form. Once you've done that, select your first question, go to More Options in the bottom right, and select Add Branching. This will allow you to choose where each of your answers will direct your user. For example, I want yes to direct my user to question number two. Once you set up your first question, don't forget to also set up your follow-up questions. So if one of my users selects yes, it will direct them to question number two, and then question number two will direct them to the end of the form because there's no more questions in the survey. Now that we've set up the branching for our survey, let's test it out. Let's say I'm a user and I am answering question number one with yes. It automatically directs me to the correct follow-up question where I can answer my short answer and click submit. Now that your survey is ready to go, let's look at sharing options. Select share in the top right corner. You can share to send and collect responses from your users, share as a template so that your colleagues can create a similar survey using your template, or share to collaborate so that your colleagues can help edit the survey that you've created. Each of these sections has an area to copy the link and a drop down to adjust permissions. Thanks for joining us for today's Planet Technologies tips and tricks. We hope you found this content useful. We would love to hear how you're using Microsoft Forms at your organization, so feel free to drop a question or a comment below. We'll see you next time.